Today I am going to teach you about the other Burns injury area calculation according to the rule of nines. It is also known as balance rule of nines. Why we need to use this formula for the Burns patient mean? There are the main three purposes. The first one to estimate the fluid replacement or fluid resuscitation. Second one, transfer the patient to the Burns unit. And third most one, to prevent the hypolemic shock. Because there will be more loss of fluids can be seen with the Burns patient. And this formula can be utilized only for two category of Burns. The first one, second degree and third degree or partial or full thickness bones. Here, we will see the anterior view and the posterior view of a normal adult. Here, how they are calculating the rule of 9 mean that each and every body surface area will be considered as the percentage of 9. Here, the anterior surface of the body 4.5 percentage Similarly, for the posterior side, 4.5 percentage till that area of head and neck. So, the head and neck together 9 percentage, and also it is you consider as this is the right side and this is the left side, left and right. For your EC calculation and similarly for that uh, chest 9 percentage and for the posterior side only for the chest area and for the abdomen 9 percentage and the posterior back side 9 percentage so the chest and upper back totally 18 percentage and abdomen and lower back totally 18 percentage and that each arm will be considered as 9 percentage so 4.5 in the anterior and 4.5 in the posterior side so that both arm consider as totally 18 percentage and in the genital area will be considered as only 1 percentage so the genital is one percentage and each leg will be considered as anterior side nine percentage and posterior side nine percentage similarly for the posterior side nine and nine for each leg so that legs or lower extremities totally considered as 36 percentage so if you are calculating the total area of the body surface will come total surface area 100 percentage it will come here we will go with some example a 36 years old male patient coming to that emergency ward with a bounce injury area in anterior head and neck and front and back of the left arm and back of the right arm abdomen front and back of the left leg and genital area. What is the total body surface area burned on this client? Here first they said about the anterior head and neck. So the anterior view, head and as well the neck. So 4.5 percentage. They said front and back of the left arm. This is the front left And as well, back of the left arm. This is the back side and left arm. So 4.5 plus 4.5, totally 9 percentage. 
and next one back of the right arm this is the back side the right arm so completely 4.5 percentage and they said about abdomen so the abdomen and the front area can be considered they did not say it about the back side so it is only 9 percentage and front and back of the left leg this is a front left leg the next one the back of the left leg this is the back side left leg so totally 9 plus 9 18 percentage and one is from the genital area so one percentage so totally six four forty six percentage so this is that our total body surface area burned on that particular client so this total body surface area can be much helpful for the fluid calculation for within a 24 hours of duration so on the next video we will look out how to calculate the fluid volume and amount for the burns patient we will look out thank you thank you for watching this video if the video is informative subscribe my channel and like and share the video you can write your comments too.